Oh, but I also did want to um, note that, you know, I'm highly intuitive and basically it's just like feeling I have about somebody, but it ends up being validated by like a very sketchy sort of um, incident going down, like at the second to last job when I was given a pharmaceuticals rep scale as somebody that had rented out a cabin and then I was given less than 24 hours to leave and um, they weren't concerned about turning that in the management there or the investor that was, you know, gone down in Florida when all that was getting shut down with his supposed like doctor that did specialized labs that somehow got to leave her practice for a month and be stuck down in Florida with him as well. <laughs> but anyways, it's like when I mentioned that I'm going to get the line to the direct line to the drug detective in Missoula, Montana. Um, they make me leave literally like right away with less than 24 hours. First, they try to set you up. First, they try to set you up <laughs> falsely. And then like when they can't get away, or first they try to kill you. <laughs> when they can't manage to kill you, then they can't manage to set you up. Then they like drive you off and get rid of you really fast. It was weird this last job, like um, I was supposedly fired even though I wasn't told I was fired, but they like wanted me, but like I was still given a month to live. Like I know that they were gonna try to get in there and uh, snatch me up. I know that, I know that, I know. And as soon as I found out that like I wasn't working there anymore, I got out of that right away. Um, and then he had to go in my room and <laughs> break a law and break a legal binding contract for some reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, um, it's all just proving me as right more and the people that haven't helped me as people that are actually uh, working for the wrong side. Sorry, truth.